bid, 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 bid on Bitcoin? Well, I'm afraid that this is um, uh, irrational exuberance. Um, this is, uh, as Greenspan's famous phrase, um, of course, he then found that uh, the market kept on going up after he said it should stop. But, you know, this is a very, very unusual market. This shows we're not in a normal two-way trading market that, uh, you know, you normally have. Even at the in the biggest rises, you've got some people trading in and out. So we're in, a, we're in very unusual territory here. And I'm not sure, frankly, I mean, it's a great chart, uh, Tom, but I'm not sure that normal rational market analysis can really illuminate this terribly right. well. Sir Howard Davies, you are the most qualified person in the world to talk about derivatives in Wall Street. You founded FSA. Oh, you made regulation <laughs> work in the United <laughs> Kingdom. Should CME and the CBOE, should the American derivatives market make a formal market in this thing that we're seeing on this chart right now? I think I would uh, counsel them not to at this point. Uh, because I'm not quite sure that they know enough about what the underlying is, about the nature of the supply and demand of the underlying asset. So I think it would be a very risky move in reputational terms for them to go in that direction now. But, but actually, if there are futures, and we're, you know, we're understanding that, for example, the uh, CFTC are looking at you know, stress tests, limits, and, and actually a lot of the clearing before the, these contracts are given the green light. But could futures put an end to Bitcoin if, if it doesn't go well? I suppose, I suppose it could, but I just don't know how you would price a future at this point. I mean, maybe there's someone smart enough uh, to do it, but the normal way in which you'd price a future, I think, would be very, very difficult to adapt to this, uh, this instrument. How, how do you see blockchain developing? And this was one of your earlier points, yes. is that if, if nothing happens with Bitcoin, then actually the underlying technology could be used in other ways. Yeah, no, I think blockchain is uh, much more interesting. Um, I mean, again, people, some banks, uh, and ours is one, is, but, you know, a bit cautious about, about the security uh, of it. Um, but I do think that the, uh, the idea of distributed ledger, um, which makes transactions payment systems much cheaper and faster in real time is a is a good one so blockchain i think has got life in it